Hey guys, welcome back to a Discord bot tutorial video. Today I'll be showing you how to make 8-ball, rock, paper, scissors, and more using JavaScript or Discord.js. So to start off, we'll be making rock, paper, scissors. If you haven't already, check out my previous videos on how we were able to make a Discord bot and use embeds and RNG in our Discord bot. If message dot includes prefix plus RPS here. Now first thing we're gonna put here is if there are no args, then we're gonna return the message dot channel dot send that is not or excuse me, please include your trace. Next we're gonna define something of let choices equal a string. A string is essentially a variable that means multiple things. So, rock, paper, and scissors. Next, we're going to be seeing if the argument includes the choices. So, if choices dot includes args1 dot to lowercase. The reason we're doing it to lowercase is to make sure that any case will go through. So um, we can leave that there for now and then put something called an else statement that's seeing if this is not true. Return message dot channel dot send please include either rock, paper, or scissors. Now we're going to have a math function, which you learned about in the last video with RNG. So we're going to do um, let's number equal math dot random oops math dot floor and then includes is math dot random function times three yes okay and then we're gonna have an if statement if number equals one and then we can copy and paste that two more times. Two and zero. We, then we can put our outcomes in them. Dot channel dot send. It was a tie. I won. You won. Okay, and let's try that out. N O D E dot bot is up, and let's try it out. R P S. It'll say please include your choice. R P S random. Please include either rock paper or scissors. Slash R P S rock. I won slash rps rock it was a tie rps rock you won there we go now what if we wanted it to display what the other person had it's fairly simple so for where it says it was a tie you can put a comma there we both had plus um we args one dot two lowercase right there. And now if we want to do it for these, we're gonna need to have an if statement inside of them. If um args one dot two lowercase, let's enclose that.
and make that a function equals rock put that there u1 I had paper like that we can copy and paste that here two more times paper and scissors you won I had whoops uh, it's not paper it would be scissors that is my bad paper would be rock and scissors would be paper now what what we can do is essentially just copy and paste this over and change a few arguments or a few the messages i won i won i won and we can change these and paper and let's try that out. Bots up slash RPS rock. Oops, that's not good. Rock is not defined. Oops. I forgot to put quotation marks there. That is my bad. I'm so sorry about this. But that means that we're pretty close to done with rock, paper, scissors. Save that and run it again. NODE dot. And let's test it out. RPS. It goes to that. RPS rock. Oops. Put a space right there between had and the quotation mark. Slash RPS rock. I won. I had paper slash RPS scissors. Oops. RPS scissors. I won. I had rock. There we go. And that's a simple rock, paper, scissors command. So next, we're going to be making a equal command. So let's make another command. Message dot includes prefix plus eight ball, and then we can check if there's one argument. But for this, I'm going to make it two because you know. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a full question without two arguments. Return message dot channel dot send. Please ask a full question like that. And then we're going to have a another um, RNG. So let number equal math dot floor closed math dot random function times um, I'm not really sure how many possible things there are with a eight ball but I'll just do six for now if number equals zero return message dot channel dot send yes definitely so we can copy and paste that uh, a few more times it's half we can just copy and paste this again and there it is five four Three, two, and one. No. Definitely not. 
ask again later. It is uncertain. Odds are not in your favor. Odds are in your favor. And let's try that out. Node dot slash eight ball. You'll say, please ask a full question. Eight ball, yes. Please ask a full question. 8-Ball, am I cool sunglasses? Ask again later. No, thank you. And there is a pretty simple 8-Ball command. Next, I'm going to show you a rate command. What is a rate command? Well, if you have ever seen the bot Dank Memer, you've seen it has things like Dank Rate. And I'll be showing you how to do something like that. Prefix plus rate. Okay, and what we can do is define another number. Let number equal, oops, one exclamation mark, math dot math dot random function times um, 101. Yes. And then, what we can do is uh, have an if statement. No, we don't need an if statement, sorry. We have return message.channel.send. I would rate you a, and then we're going to plus number, plus, and then space, no, no space, slash, out of 100. And let's try that out. N-O-D-E dot, slash, rate. I would rate you an 87 out of 100, slash, rate. I would rate you a 38 out of 100. So, I know Dank Memer has, like, percents. So, you can just change this to, you are... Um, number and then percent uh, dank or whatever. So another thing you might see about these rate commands is that you're able to actually see and rate another user. So if we want to do that, I can do if um, args1, if there's one argument, then we'll have it do yourself. And then we're going to have an else. Uh, let user, we're going to define what a user is, message dot mentions dot user dot users dot first. That will look for the first user mentioned in your um, argument. If um, there isn't a user, return message dot channel dot send, please include who you are rating right there and then beneath that we can just um, copy and paste this right here and we have numbers still defined so I would rate and then what we can do is put that there I would rate plus um, user dot username right there so we don't ping people more than once I would rate user's username uh, number out of 100. And let's try that out. N-O-D-E dot, bot is up, oops, slash rate. Let's do um, snowball. Yeah, I would rate snowball. Okay, I, would, I forgot I would rate. There we go. And there we go. We have rate done. Now another command we can do 
which also includes the um, user, is kill. It sounds pretty graphic, but it's more or less a joke. Includes prefix plus kill. So we're going to do the same thing. Let user equal message dot mentions dot users dot first and if there is no user return the message to the channel dot send please include who you are killing like that then if else we can return message dot channel dot send message dot author dot username plus and then in quotation marks killed and then plus user dot username just like that that's a pretty simple little command you can have another little fun command let's try it out on snowball kill at snowball meme champ killed snowball uh, I forgot a space there once again sorry node dot you know please include who you're killing then kill space you see it doesn't find that so that's about it I'd like to thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed, please like or subscribe. Um, I can control what you do, but have a good day. And check out my other videos. I'm going to try and post daily from now on. So, we'll see ya.